two in the There, Jay, you want glow stick? Do you like glow sticks? No, thanks. No? Not tonight. So, it looks like someone's been pulled over here. I'm in Manchester. It's July 11th, 2014. It's approximately 11 p.m. Just arriving at the scene of a DUI checkpoint where some Manchester and Keniac crew is here to hand out literature, as I have here in my bag, about rights. Making sure that people know their rights, giving people an opportunity to escape the DUI checkpoint. That's all it's about, saving people from becoming victims of the police state. So hopefully it's a successful evening. Unfortunately, we're a little late for this fellow. So what we're seeing here appears to be a checkpoint of sorts in the live free or die state of all places. Uh, it's a place where cars appear to be flagged down by men in high visibility jackets and uh, looks like they're asking them some questions at the window and then um, sending their occupants on their way. Certainly there's an aroma of fear and high tension in the air. It's a full moon tonight. The sky and everything around me is illuminated. I do want to keep a visual on Garrett since he's uh, staying close. Here's a car that's now entering the checkpoint. Apparently they weren't saved. This is what it looks like from behind.
The men have surrounded the car, told it to stop, seem to be conducting an investigation of the drivers, seem to have reached for something, probably a license. More cars are now passing the checkpoint. Looks like some cars are allowed to just go right by it. Others are being flagged down. And that car's on its way. There's Garrett Ian, activist, filming the police, filming me. Red Lobster, this is Dapper Tan. I'm looking to get a visual on something else. Are you feeling safe over here? <clears throat> Red Lobster, this is Dapper Dan. Are you feeling safe? Or can I, uh, do you want me to keep taking video of where you are?
Hey. Okay, let's do it, Red Lobster. Um, not a lot. I'm getting close-ups of the cops. I was just uh, interacting with um, Red Lobster that uh, I, I needed to give him some camera cover since he's very close proximity to the police checkpoint. So uh, he's backing away at the moment, and I'm going to continue to give him cover until he's uh, free. Uh, but I am at the checkpoint at the moment, getting pulled up. Okay, excellent. Peace. Okay, so over the radio I just heard a report of undercover cops in track jackets in a white van. So if I get a visual on that, I will direct the camera that way rather than towards Red Lobster. Yes, I read you. Affirmative dog for Dapper Dan copies. Microphone works. Two Keniacs at the checkpoint. So you aren't able to hear what's in my earpiece, but um, Red Lobster over here just said that if the Manchester activists were doing their job, there wouldn't be anyone over here, because uh, the Manchester people were on the two-way asking, where are the Keen people at? Well, we're here filming what the actual checkpoint. Red Lobster, this is Stapper Dan. You ready to retreat? Okay, I got the affirmative on that. I'm going to keep the camera behind me uh, facing the police at all times. I wouldn't want to direct the camera you know, towards the oncoming traffic and then uh, miss something important that's happening behind me. Red Lobster is being very slow behind me. I wish I didn't have to keep a visual on him because he's being very slow. 
I would like to get over and take video of the other activists. But it is bad practice to leave an activist alone right next to a bunch of police. But he just won't move. Yo, Red Lobster, you retreating or are you getting more video? I don't feel comfortable leaving a single activist around a bunch of police officers. Well, if anyone's interested in babysitting Red Lobster, I'm leaving him. I'm continuing to roll camera as Garrett disappears into the background just in case the police decide to come up and attack him. Of course it's unlikely, but it's happened. So I think it's ridiculous that he wants to stay there so close for so long. The B-roll is only interesting for so long. Uh, it's unlikely that there will be any arrests. Um, seems very boring and if someone else is interested in staying there they can do that but I think what's interesting to highlight here tonight is the activism that's diverting most of these cars the reason they're not so busy over there the reason they're twiddling their thumbs and only stopping one or two cars here and there is because the Manchester activists are diverting these cars telling them hey there's a DUI checkpoint up ahead so I want to film that that's the activism that's achieving something. Filming cops doing their job. That's, you might as well be a propagandist for the state. I don't want to film that. I want to film activism, people peacefully resisting the state. Boring back there. Let's get some interesting video.